here, besties. We got to talk as per usual. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Shout out to OnSite for this foolishness right here. As you can see, woman sets new rules in her marriage after finding out her husband was unfaithful. We going to stay together, but I'm going to F other people too. Okay. Okay. So if that's what you want to do, then, you know, that's fine. If he messed around, you know, I'm sorry that that happened. I don't know what, the, you know, I can't say what someone should and shouldn't do in that case. But what I can say is the fact that y'all put this mess out here on daggone internet is what's half damn crazy, of course, because these people got children. And as per usual, I don't give a damn about no children. All to give a damn about is a good viral moment and that everybody got to know their business. Then as soon as everybody know their business, then they're going to be mad because people like me is going to say, y'all look half damn crazy. One, her for thinking that she's doing something. I'm going I'm to play the video in a second. Let me let me go ahead and play the video because I didn't see it. I'm going to play it twice and make sure you hear it. Great, because I love you. I, I never wanted to not be with you. I never wanted to be without you. I want to do life with you. But in the process of all this shit happening, you a liar. You got you a bitch. And I had to hear from this bitch what y'all relationship was about. No, nah, we not fucking no more. I want to see other people. You act like you're the only fucker in this relationship that other people want to No, nah, we, we, no. Let's, let's be real. Let's. So what we going to do is we going to stay together. We're going to have a beautiful life together for the rest of our lives. We're going to continue getting money together. We're going to continue raising this little girl together. We're going to have a fabulous home. We're going to love and take care of each other. But I'm going to f*** other people. And I hope you do too. Ooh. Jesus Christ. And we will never, ever talk about it. Don't bring me no babies. Don't bring me no diseases. But we're going to do what we want to do outside uh, this house. Uh, because to this point, it has worked. I'm not. for me. Great, because I love you. I, I never wanted to not be with you. I never wanted to be without you. I want to do life with you. But in the process of all this shit happening, you a liar. You got you a bitch, and I had to hear from this bitch what y'all relationship was about. No, nah, we not fucking no more. I want to see other people. You act like you're the only fucker in this relationship that other people want to. No, nah, we we no. Let's let's be real. Let's. So what we gonna do is we gonna stay together. We gonna have a beautiful life together for the rest of our lives. We gonna continue getting money together. We gonna continue raising this little girl together. We gonna have a fabulous home. We're gonna love and take care of each other. But I'm gonna f other people, and I hope you do too. Ooh. Jesus Christ! And we will never ever talk about it. Don't bring me no babies. Don't bring me no diseases. But we gonna do what we wanna do outside uh, this house uh, because to this point it has worked. Uh, Fight for me, great, because I. I really hope I didn't hear someone say grandma, grandma, because there's like a group of people here. You see this person in the white arm of their shirt, and then you see this girl sitting here. And since this lady on the screen is looking straight across, the husband is over there. So who knows how many people are in this room? Feel sorry, of course, for the daughter, because she did say that there is a daughter in here. So this person is raising a daughter while she's on the internet to talk about what her husband did. So in, in other words, in my opinion, she wanted to embarrass the husband. In the meantime, she's embarrassing herself. That's just my thought process here. So how in one breath are you saying that y'all not going to be effing no more? And then in the next breath say, don't bring home no babies. Don't bring, don't bring me no diseases. It shouldn't matter if he has a disease or not, if you're not effing him. So in the, uh, at the end of the day, this is all just for the internet yet again. So this man has cheated on you. The woman who he cheated with called to tell her, which she didn't broke the rules, okay? And the woman is hurt, is hurt. This woman right here is hurt and upset whether she wants to actually say that or not. So to try to embarrass that man and put him in his place, she got to get on the internet and say this foolishness right here. Contradicts herself, thinks she ate something. These are two people that don't need to be together. Now, I'm not saying that he should be with the woman that that came through or whatever, but he ain't ish. Let's let's keep it a buck. Come on now. Clearly, they didn't discuss what it is that they was going to do. Girl that he was cheating with decided that I guess she wanted the man too much so that she going to tell the wife. So that's another reason that this woman is not going to let him go because she doesn't want the other woman to quote unquote win. Listen to me. 
she started the conversation off with she wants to do life with him. She always wanted to do life with him. Then she goes into all this crap. Then she wants to turn around and say, don't bring me nothing home, even though I'm not going to F you. So that's right there. Shaky. The woman called her. I'm sure she was all, all mad at her. And it's like, yeah, she probably wants this clearly because she called me. She wants this to break up so that she can have him. And I'm not going to let her have nothing. So we're going to stay together. That's where this comes from. So I decided I decided that we're going to stay together. And you're going to do what you do. And I'm going to do what I do. And then we come home together. Now, if y'all really not effing, I don't know how you're getting a venereal disease. I mean, from him anyway. You know what I'm saying? See, these people, they can just keep talking, 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 talking. They tell on themselves. Now, I'm not standing up for this man in any way, shape, or form. He ain't ish, period, point, effing, blank. The woman that he was messing with ain't ish because clearly he, she knew that he was married. That's why now she's calling. She wanted that man to herself. That These women are all the same, y'all. Listen to me when I tell you women are all the same for the most part, okay? The woman he was cheating with wants him. So she's desperate and that's why she called the wife. The wife wants him still, but she desperate to keep him. So much so that she's going to put this on the internet and she's going to talk about don't bring me no diseases home. And these people are raising a daughter. Don't ever worry about finding out what's wrong with these kids. Are people taking this much care and thought process into their children, where they are, what they're doing, what they need to do to make sure they are growing up to be productive adults so that they're not out here gremlinizing so that they don't have to have a high school community baby shower event to try to help people. And this woman want to keep all the cars in the house and everything that she said, she don't want the other woman to have it. You hear me? That's why she's willing to do this. She doesn't want the other woman to win this is all a game that's what this is all about you're not gonna win you're not gonna get I did everything i did for him everything we did together and you think you're gonna come in and just take it all y'all trust me when i tell you that's what this is because it sounds so stupid dumb it makes no sense whatsoever i mean in her head of course it does but at the end of the day This is all about two women fighting over some man who at the end of the day probably ain't no good for neither one of them, but they willing to do anything for him. He's probably a pook nug. I'm not saying he going to jail or anything like that. I'm not saying that he ain't making a living because the house looks okay from here. All I'm saying is he got pook nug tendencies and he out here exercising them. Ain't nobody had no heads up about it. Probably lying to both of these ones. Clearly lying to the wife. Probably lying to the other lady. And she done had enough. She want what she want. And then this woman ain't going to allow her to have it. Again, I never understand why it is that the the cheater woman thinks that calling him out to his wife is ever going to be something where he says, Oh yeah, girl, I want you now. Unless he needs a place to stay. When you get into this type of relationship, there are rules and you can't follow rules. Come on now. I'm not saying it's right. I don't say that I agree with it, but I certainly know that there's rules in this. You're not supposed to have your feelings get involved, even though the woman usually does. You're not supposed to be telling anybody, a bunch of people posting, having conversations recorded, calling the wife, being in her space. That's crazy. That's single white female type stuff like that movie. It's crazy. Obsession like that movie. But women are, I'm going to win. You not going to win. I'm going to win down to the bone. And then these, both of these women will turn around talking about crusty, dusty, musty, rusty, ashy bums. When they're willing to deal with this and do this and be second and be third and be fourth. And then turn around saying that black men don't take care of me. Because we're going to go ahead and assume that he's black. Black men don't take care of us. Protect black women. Y'all don't protect yourselves. Shout out to the high STI, STD rate syphilis in Houston. 
social media, I tell you, it's a biatch. That is it. That is all. If you've made it this far, I do appreciate you. Make sure that you comment. Make sure that you like the video. I will see you all in the next one.